Good morning, VCLO. How are we doing today? My name is Brother Dan, and across the table from me we have Pastor Alfredo Medina, and between us, to his left and my right, we have Brother Johnny. And across hey, from Johnny. <laughs> Brother Johnny, we have crickets. What normally would be okay. filled is not filled at the moment, but that's okay because we know that that individual is filled with the Holy Ghost. So he's going to get his regardless. But Holy Spirit was talking to me this morning on the drive over here, and he said, let's get a covering laid out. There's some people that need prayer this morning, and we need to start this service, um, this message. We, we need to just start in prayer and get to just get some people covered, because I know there's some things going on. Uh, I know Pastor and Sister Anna, they need prayer. I know that Bev Freeman, she needs prayer. Um, Misty's Uncle Bob, uh, if anyone knows Uncle Bob, he's your Uncle Bob. Um, he needs prayer. Um, I know that there was an 85-year-old man that went walking this morning at 4 o'clock in the morning and they can't find him, so that family needs prayer. There's just some people that need a covering today. So I just think this morning we just need to go in prayer and uh, just seek the Lord and then, oops, oh, praise God, one prayer answered, that guy was found. <laughs> praise report. <laughs> praise report already. <laughs> praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime. But yeah, let's just go to the Lord in prayer right now. Heavenly Father, Lord, yes, you are so Lord. good, Lord, and we just thank you. Yes. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to come to you. Jesus. And Lord, right now we just pray for others, Lord, that need lifted up. Yes, Lord. Lord, we pray for our Pastor Larry and Sister Anna, Lord, that you would just be with the yes, family, Lord. Lord, that you would lift up that family, Lord, and that you yes, would just Lord. cast out sickness, Lord, and we just pray Lord. restoration and healing, Lord, and we just pray lifted spirits, Lord, and just rejoicing in your name. Thank Father, you, we pray for Bev Freeman this morning, Lord, I know that Absolutely. she's going in for... Um, results to find out about her dialysis lord and we just uh, we just we just release that any doubt lord and we just receive praise from this report lord may this uh be a testimony lord just to your goodness and everything that you've been doing and bev and jerry and just uh give her strength give her health lord and just lift her up father we also pray for uh uh, Pastor uh, Vernon this morning, Lord, there's just been a lot of stuff going on with him and his health, Lord, and it's with this ventilator stuff that he had been, Lord, we give you the victory for the for his uh, CO2 levels dropping, but Lord, as we heard this morning, Lord, his blood pressure's down, Lord, and we just speak healing to this body, Lord, that you just put your hand upon him, Lord, from his head to his feet, Lord, that you would just bless him. Lord, we just pray healing and restoration in Jesus' name, Lord, we pray for the family right now. Lord, that you would lift them up, Lord, that you would provide that comfort for us that only you are able to fulfill. Lord, we just give you praise and we thank you, Lord. We we pray for Uncle Bob this morning, Lord. He's uh, home with the family and there's family members with him right now, Lord, because he's weak and frail. Lord, and I just pray that um, you would comfort the family right now. Lord, time is short uh, before the homecoming where he stands before... Uh, and with uh, his uh, Savior Jesus, Lord, and I just pray for those that are hurt, Lord, for those that uh, are, are just mourning right now. I just pray comfort in that family, Lord. I pray peace in that family. Lord, and I just thank you for everything that you're going to do, Lord. And I just pray just like this rain, Lord, that there would be a downpour of you just, you, you just falling out all over us today, Lord, and that we're able to receive it. Absolutely. Mm. Yes, Lord, Lord, in this round table, yes, Lord. Lord, in our worship, Lord, in the ministry, Lord, in yes. the service, Lord, just all may right. it just be, may you just all fall right. out over everybody, over Live Oak and the community, mm -hmm. Lord, and just right. be received. Yes. Lord, we pray for the rain. You brought the rain, Lord, and we just know oh, you yeah. are just a mighty God and you take thank care you, of Jesus. us. Mm. Come on. Yeah. We thank you, Lord. We yes. thank you, Lord. We yeah. lift you up and we yes. give you praise. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And Dan, if I could just pray over yes, something right absolutely. now. I just, I, Thank you, Lord. I just feel that someone this morning, or, um, you're just waking up with a headache, and it's impacting your eyesight. And right now, we just declare healing yes, over Lord. your ailment. Yes, Lord. Receive we just speak healing. to that headache right now. Jesus. That it would just begin to Jesus. just fade away. Hallelujah. And that your, that your vision, or that your, your blurriness would just begin to come back. 
we just we just speak forth vision mm -hmm. to come back into that eyesight. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. And thank you, Jesus. And we just speak Jesus, to the worry. Jesus. It, it, it is not the worst case scenario that you're thinking. But the Lord is just wiping it away. Yeah. Yes. And he's wiping those worries away. He's wiping the those conclusions away right now. Mm -hmm. And we just declare that in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Lord. I'd like to go a little further with that. Yes, Lord. Scriptures tell us that he who dwells in the secret place of the most high God, that's where we're at this morning. You're out there, you're hearing these prayers. God wants you to know that you are in his secret place. The secret place of the Most High God. He's got your covering. And the rains are just a symbolic thing of what the natural things of the atmosphere pour on earth. But God wants to pour his Holy Spirit on you. And I just want you to be encouraged to reach out to that, that place where you're seeing this, your phones, your TVs, I don't know, where, where you're bringing reception. God wants to tie you deeper into the reception with the Lord. Where it says that uh, she'll abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my strength, my yes. fortress, my God. Yes. And Him will I trust. And so I pray, God, that, Lord, as you are the fortress and strength of those who, Lord, have been prayed over this morning, God. Yes. Lord, we just know that there are church families, God. <clears throat> there, are, there are struggles going on, Lord, of all sorts. Matrimonies, oh God, you're showing me matrimonies that have been in battle through the night. Husbands running away and wives running away and children caught in the center of it, Lord. You're showing me sicknesses that, Lord, we, we didn't even mention that are out there and and Lord, there's just, the attacks are, are just coming it's from all directions. Lord, your word promises, and I encourage you out there, you're listening. The Lord promises that if, that if you will trust him, you are under the covering of, of the most high God. Yes. It's like he's opening up his white arms around this whole world globe. And he's got us under his protection. All he's requiring, praise the Lord, is that you take refuge in fortress under his shadow. When I talk about shadow, I'm talking about recognizing Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Messiah, the Redeemer, the Healer. Yes. The one who came and died for you, for the world, for all. The one who said that if you would trust him and believe in him, that all things would be possible. That nothing would be impossible with God through Christ. But even then, beyond that, he sent the Holy Spirit. And I just pray the Holy Spirit would enter into your living rooms, into your bedrooms, and into your hearts right now. That you would open up your hearts to the Holy Spirit, and that you would allow the Holy Spirit to bring healing into your children. Yes into your matrimonies, into the sicknesses, into the trials, into the stress factors that are taking place. Let this be not only a day of physical rain, but let it be a pouring of washing, of cleansing of what rains do. Yes. And I just pray that you will rise up today for those who Dan ministered to in prayer and Johnny, Lord, bring an increase an increase that will go forth into all those hearers, yes. family members. I pray the peace of God yes, Lord. would surround them, Lord God, as yes, they are Lord. seeing the situations that they're surrounded with and the difficulties that, that, that are being displayed before them and the doubt that the enemy puts in their minds. Father God, we bind that spirit of doubt. We cast out that spirit and we speak faith into their life, faith that will, Father, just bring them through a breakthrough of healing, deliverance by the power of God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
we Amen. pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. God is awesome. You know, yeah. Johnny was coming up this morning, and like you had mentioned earlier, you know, you need an umbrella to walk out from as far as I parked this morning. And I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? There's going to be some people that use this as an excuse not to come to church today. And I thought, you know what? What if this rain was the pouring out of God? What, would, what if this was his glory? That wind blowing in your face, that rain hitting you sideways, what if that was God's presence? Mm -hmm. Would you try to shield yourself from it, or would you just stand out there and bask in it? So I did a slow walk from the far side of the parking lot this morning. I'm like, thank you, Lord, because you know what? We're praying for rain. And granted, this, this isn't the good Scottish rain where it just falls straight down and it just rains all day, just misty, nice, and cozy. No, I mean, but man, this is, it's still his glory, and it's his goodness. And we just need to just, yeah. I mean... Get in it. You know, God spoke to me this morning, Dad. And I got drenched. <laughs> <laughs> he spoke to me about the same situation you just kind of shared. And he said to me to do this. He said, bring your umbrellas and have those assigned. I don't know who they are. It could be some of our young teenagers. Have those assigned to see forth the elderly that are coming in. Hmm. And to run to them with the umbrellas and the covering under God's wings. Yeah, the rain is great. But some of these people are going to say, I'm staying home because I'm going to get wet. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage you out there today. We're going to have we're going to have workers of the ministry with umbrellas. If I have to do it myself. Hmm. You, you know, I just thought about texting some people and saying, you know what? Bring an umbrella. Yeah. But then I thought that God's like, let me tell them. Yeah. So if you're listening to this, if God's tugging on your heart, you know, there's a calling that can be helped out today. Yeah. Some people happen to walk a little slower. Yeah, that's right. Whether it's sunny or shiny, you know, yeah. they can use someone to walk beside them. And, that's um, right. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, just going to stand on that. It's a... Uh, you know, I love the umbrella part. The umbrellas were created for a covering, whether it be from the sun, from the rain. <laughs> they, have, they have their purpose. Yeah. And when we are sensitive to the Spirit, as we have been from the beginning of this opening um, roundtable discussion, it's all about the people of God and, and, and encouraging them to come and not neglect the fellowship because of a little bit of rain. We've all been in the shower. We've been soaked. <laughs> yes, but we we're gonna we're gonna bring the umbrellas, and we we want you to come this morning. We want you to bring your loved ones, and uh, I've got a call that uh, some people are coming as far as Sacramento. So come and join us. It's going to be good. Amen. Yeah. If you don't, Misty just commented. If you don't think you have a ministry, grab an umbrella. That's right. That's right. Offer covering for someone. Right. You know what? Because. There's no better covering. That's what being a Christian is all about, is being covered right. by the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, a covering speaks all too well. So They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and then the next phase is the word, what we're doing here. That's right. By the word of their testimony. The word of their testimony. Yeah. And just putting it out there. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, Dan said something earlier, uh, Pastor Larry is absent but it's not absent That's right. we all know that when we're absent from the body we are in the presence of each other in the spirit mm -hmm. I believe that uh, brother Larry Pastor Larry is here with us in the spirit and I believe that he's probably watching the round table right now perhaps uh, not he will he is and we're encouraging everybody to keep uh, brother Pastor Larry <laughs> sister <laughs> Ann in prayer um, we're not going to go in detail, but just keep them in prayer. Uh, I believe that there's a breakthrough in every situation. He says, I'm here, laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> and so we love him, and uh, we, we, we come to the round table to cover for him and to stand with him, and he's with us here. That's right. Yeah, so that's right. Be encouraged. Um, Brother Larry, we love you. Yep. And Sister Anna, too. Yeah, yes. definitely. Absolutely. So we've... I, We've had a good week this week. 
I got to share some time with uh, Brother Fred, and he and I were at the, the women's conference uh, playing the fly on the wall. And, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, those ladies get excited, and I'm, I'm happy for them, but I know those guys got, when we had our conference, oh yeah, we were loud. I would love to measure the decibel reading when you have like hundreds of guys just, yeah, but I was getting fired up and I was telling Fred, I'm like, this is hard because I hear something, in, you know, inspiring and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, huh? you got, yeah. I don't want, <laughs> every don't time wanna... dad would say, well, yeah, some of the girls younger ones would turn around and like say, hey, shh, this is our time. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even supposed to be here. Yeah. <laughs> we just look over I wanted to run up to the altar and get, get pray, pray on me too. You know? <laughs> what? There's an altar calling. I'm not up there. I'm not up there. Actually, you know what? I, I did uh, the, the final day, um, Sister Mercedes, she had brought River. And during worship, I said, why don't you give me him? Why don't you go get let, let loose? Yeah. Don't worry about Because, you know, yeah. praise God, you know, she came, she had a baby. but we And we love babies, but there's just a distraction there where you can't really... Yeah, let go and yeah. let God because you're also you got a hold of your baby yeah and I'm like you know what let me take that baby and then I, I hung out with him we're good we're good he fell asleep and so she had him laid down on the seat beside her and uh, I see her constantly looking at him as they're preparing for an altar call so I get up and I kind of tap on her shoulder and I'm like get out of here I got this kid go on so anyways, um, yeah, no distractions, had a great time, uh, enjoyed hearing the, the, the word from the sister that was given the, the message, and I'm just blessed, and I can't wait for some, uh, some feedback. I think we're going to be mm. pretty excited, and even in somewhat weather, we might see a little fire going mm. on in service. Mm -hmm. So you must have been almost like a Jesus that night. Mm -hmm. For what? When the... Uh, People in scriptures, the Pharisees were trying to get the kids away and direct them away, and the <laughs> disciples also get them away. And, and Jesus said, "No, no, no! Give me that baby. Let him bring him to me over yeah. here." That's and, right. And uh, that's what ministry is: mm -hmm. lifted each other and carried each other. A bunch of big babies. You know. <laughs> that's right. I'll uh, receive that. Uh, God is good, and, and um, it's all about just. Step it out for anyone God puts it out, whether it be a uh, sister, or brother, or baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that uh, was a, quite a conference. Uh, I'm going to go live and share something. Uh, since we're live, that conference blew my mind. I sat in the back on the last Friday, and I stayed there. You left. You were out there someplace. Everybody left. I got caught in the spirit. And women were falling in under the spirit up there at the altar. They were falling they left, right. And some of the girls were drunk in the spirit, just dancing in their arms oh, up yeah. and lifted up. And I just got caught up in it, and I'm just staring at the whole situation, praising the Lord, and I heard trumpets. I heard the sound of a trumpet blowing. I thought it was Pastor Malone in the sound booth through the sound system, kind of echoing it in a little bit. And I looked up and I go, where's the speakers? And I heard it again. Where's the speaker? And then I looked around and I said, who else is hearing this? And there was nobody drawing attention to it, so I just stayed quiet. And when it was all over, I noticed my wife was gone, everybody was gone, and I came to my, myself, you know, and I go, my wife's outside probably got looking for me. So I got up, went out there, and she was out there, where you been? And you know, just shared with them on the way home. One of the sisters that went to the conference looked at me in my vehicle and said, Pastor Fred, that was God rejoicing in heaven, sounding the trumpets. That's all that was taking place in that physical realm and the heavens. There was also a praise and worship going on, and you got to hear the trumpet sound. I go, whoa, that really, that, that just did something to me That's right good. there. That's good. I thought That's I'd share stuff. that with you out there for, for just a purpose to know that when you're in the presence of God, all things are possible. Mm -hmm. And so again, I encourage you, 
Find a local church. Go to your church. Attend the fellowship with one another and and watch what God will do in your in your faithfulness. Yeah, that's right. If you don't have a place to go, you know, we're not promoting, oh, come here, come here, but come here. <laughs> but when you do come here, don't come here for so-and-so or this or that person. Come here for Jesus. Come here for the Holy Spirit. If you don't find the Holy Spirit here, go find him. Yeah. It might not be here. It might not be what you're looking for. But I, I feel the Spirit here. I know the Spirit here. And... Um, you uh, you have to uh, you have to you have to know the spirit and if you come here you will sense the spirit if you come seeking that's another thing if you're just coming to be a pew warmer no but if you're prepared and you're ready and you're seeking his face you know seek ye and ye shall find mm -hmm. you will you will definitely have an encounter and you will be drunk in the spirit. I hope some there's. I hope. I think there's probably some ladies that still have not sobered up from that <laughs> that conference rally, I because we got to. We had an opportunity to go have lunch with uh, a new sister that we just met, and her name is Sister Jackie, and um, and another. And she kind of shared her testimony while we were at lunch. And man, and she's just an awesome woman of God, and just. You know, it, uh, a new friendship. I mean, I, I've known her, not known her, I've recognized her for like the past 20 years and at other events, and I'd never, you know, got a chance to know her. And I thought, man, you know, it was such a blessing to know her and to meet her today or yesterday. If I would have known her, you know, when I first, what what have I missed out on? Yeah. Because she has an infectious love for Jesus, mm -hmm. and she's just got a testimony that is so unique, just like Fred. Fred is just his testimony is awesome. But um, yeah, good uh, good way to end a conference and to come out with new friends in Jesus, yeah. and just to be inspired even more. Not even at a conference, yeah. but to be a uh, uh, have someone share a testimony at Tong Fong Lo <laughs> over some good old Chinese food. Yeah. <laughs> some soft noodles. Soft noodles. Yeah. Hmm. You yeah. got some, Fred? Uh, you, were, you were just sharing that, uh, Dad, and I was reminded in Psalms 111. I like that. 111. 111. Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. And the, how oh, I love this. And the assembly of the upright in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, studied by all who have pleasure in them. Come on. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endures forever forever his he has made his wonderful works to be remembered I love that the Lord is gracious and full of compassion yeah wow what a word of, of encouragement that's uh, made his wonderful works to be remembered that's testimony yeah. that that's just crying out, look what the Lord has done, Look and, and look what the Lord wants to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just, uh, I just been s just sensing something, you know, and as we were praying this morning, and I was just uh, hearing the, the rainfall. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, and I was just, I was just, had my eyes closed, and we were praying, and then just even now, uh, as I hear that rainfall, it was like after every drop, the Lord was like, am I not faithful Ooh. am I not faithful and then I began to see like the images of the of the dam that's been dried up of, of all these like statements of, of, of these reminders of why we need rain why we've been praying for rain and now we stand here and, and the Lord is like saying am I not faithful hallelujah and I just feel like a key for today is a spirit of thankfulness come on yeah. You know, and, and last night I was just reminded of the Israelites as they were coming out of Egypt. And, and I feel like 
church family, just friends and family, I just felt like I was reminded, you know, in in Exodus 16. Oh, old school. Yeah. In cool. Exodus 16, verse 2. It says, In the desert, the whole community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, If we if only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt. What verse are you on? Uh, NIV and uh, 16 uh, verse 3. Exodus 16? Mm -hmm. Whoa, I was way off. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, verse 3. The Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt, there we, were, there we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you have brought us out into this desert to starve the entire assembly to death. And there's this, I just felt in my spirit that, you know, as we go through this time of transition, there's just a season where it's, it's there's this temptation to, to be so caught up in a situation that we forget the thankfulness. We, we forget that we've been dealing with dry grounds. In this particular situation, we've been dealing with dry grounds and now we have rain. Don't grumble. But, but give, it, it's an opportunity to give thanks to a faithful God. And I just feel like whatever your situation is right now, just, just come with a heart of thankfulness. And, um, you know, because it, it's just, a, a, you know, later we see in that chapter is that we see that the Lord then spoke to Moses. And, and we see one of the greatest span of miracles of the, of the, of the giving of manna. You know, and it, it's just like, I, I just felt like today that the, the secret to God's blessing today is thankfulness. I, I just can't. I just. I felt like this morning's prayer just really just cemented that. Mm -hmm. you know, yes. God gave me a word as you said that. The Holy Spirit gave me a word. It's called the substance. Mm -hmm. The substance of God. When when you hear the substance of God, it pretty much equates to everything that He has. He has to give. I mean, you brought up the children of. Israel, uh, you read it, and it says that every morning they had their bread, yeah. and every evening they had their meat. And when you come into the house of God today, or any time of, your, of service, the scriptures are the bread. And, and, and the Lord always starts his ministry with with us even when we were first born again when we first came to the Lord he starts with the bread and we grow in the Lord and then he, he brings in the solid food yeah. and, and God is wanting to bring us into a solid place and, and I, 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 that's awesome what you just shared Johnny and, and this, this is uh, just exactly what God wants for his people a round table that fills people up encourages them amen yeah. amen yeah. that's right amen Absolutely. Looking forward to today's service. I'm looking forward to what God is going to do. Yeah. He's already doing it. He's already doing it. And so if you're out there and you are getting ready, I encourage you, we encourage you again, and we pray that you will rise up and, and just run to the house of God, to the fellowship of praise and worship. Come and just lift up your hands and lift your voice out to the Lord and, and let's see what God has for us today. Amen. I'm sure it's going to be good. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Like Dan says, 945-ish <laughs> service. See you there.